So, I kinda used basic math to figure out what the strongest weapons in the game were. And I did it in a way that's pretty unconventional compared to most, like, math that people use, because I'm really bad at math, and I honestly don't understand it that much. <laughs> well, I understand it, but, like, I'm just really bad at it. It makes my head hurt. And the way I make builds is not in accordance to math, but just, like, the most optimal way to fit the most amount of DPS skills into a build. That's how I've always made builds in most games. And I do very well <laughs> doing that mostly. And uh, that talent translated uh, very, very well to uh, Monster Hunter. But um, I really ignored the math a lot of the time because I didn't really need that much. <laughs> it really didn't affect my builds that much. And so um, I just mostly ignored it. But uh, with these new Rampage weapon upgrades, it was kind of hard to ignore the fact that I needed to use math. Because there were so many different variations of Rampage um, upgrades you could use that all yielded so many different results that there was only one way for me to figure it out, and that was with math. So, um, first things first, it should be noted, the strongest, um, right out of the gate, let's just get this out of the way. It should be noticed, the strongest Rampage, um, path to go is actually... is actually Sharpness 1. Is the Sharpness Type 1. Not Attack Surge, actually. Of this uh, Affinity Surge. Sharpness Type 1, Affinity Surge, and then plugging in White Sharpness is the highest possible attack you can get. You can technically get um, Sharpness, uh, White Sharpness on... Um, I forget which one it was, but it required 4 or 5 Handicraft, and so it wasn't uh, worth it. But Sharpness Type 1... Affinity Surge, not Attack Surge. I'm going to just show you this uh, first because I had to figure out exactly how to compare Attack Surge to Affinity Surge. So, uh, let's uh, do the math. Because <laughs> I I have no idea what, like, the, the terms Motion Value, True Raw, um, Effective Raw. I, d I have no idea what any of these terms mean, but I do know what numbers mean. <laughs> Do you know what numbers mean? And um, me and my chat together a few days, a few days ago, figured out exactly how to calculate um, the average damage output of a build, basically off of just two attacks. So, first thing you want to do is you want to get the crit value and the non-crit value of a build. That is the first thing you want to do. And right off the bat, I'm noticing I have this build wrong, so... <laughs> this isn't the build. Is this the build I had saved? Always un unprepared, always. It's called me unprepared, Mez. Every freaking time. Okay. As I was saying, now that I have the right build... <laughs> What you want to do is you want to find the crit value and the non-crit value for two set for um, one attack. So we have 742. That's our crit value. Let's get our non-crit. This may take a while, but uh, bear with me. By the way, we're only sitting at 60% affinity. This is with attack surge, so there we go. So, our crit value and our non-crit value is 530 and 742. Our affinity is 60% on weak points. 10% overall. So, with those numbers, we can figure out exactly how much damage we would do, on average, over 10 hits, over how many hits you want. But I use 10 because it's just um, a nice round number to go off of. So what we do is we take non-crit value, multiply that by 4. And we're doing that because 4 out of the 10 hits, on average, will not crit. So, 530 times 4 equals... Or 530 times 4 equals... 
21.20. Hope you guys are following. Okay, so our crit value was 742. And, of, and out of 10 hits, on average, we will crit six times. So 742 times six. 4,452. Okay. Add those together. 4,452 plus 2120 equals 6572. This is the average, is the average amount of damage we would do with that specific attack over 10 hits. And you can basically extrapolate that to any attack, any combo, whatever. Just comparing those two numbers, as long as you have the crit, the non-crit, and how many and the percentage of crit, you can figure out exactly how much damage you would do over time. Pretty simple math, right? Don't need to understand anything about motion values, blah blah blah. Here, this is what this need to save it over this. Uh, let's look at the Tigrex. Now, I specifically built this build to get as much damage as possible from Tigrex. So, let's look at the Tigrex values. Tigrex. Tigrex Greatsword, by the way, isn't the most popular Greatsword. Also, because I don't like its appearance that much. So, I got a 704 crit value. Or it's 75% affinity, by the way. On weak points. Five oh three. Okay. Seven oh four and five oh three. Okay, so let's do that math again. Five oh three times two point five. Two point five because out of 10 hits, 2.5 of them will not crit. Because if we're at 75% affinity, that means 25% of the time, we are going to not crit. And 25% of 10 is 2.5. Okay? So you guys are following the math here. So, 503 times 2.5 equals 1257.5. Okay, our crit value, 704 times 7.5, that's the amount of times we crit in 10 hits. 704 times 7.5, 5, Okay. So, add those two numbers together. What do we get? Plus 12.57.5 equals 65.37. So, the Rampage build I just used uh, compared to this Tigrix build, the difference is what? <laughs> Over 10 hits. <laughs> First, 65.72. As you can see... Oh wait, 65. As you can see... That's not much. That's not much of a difference. Over 10 hits? If you wanted to see what the difference was over 100 hits, you would just add a zero. So, what is that? Minus... Wait, what is that? Um, six five seven two minus six five three seven point five. Oh, wait, that doesn't look right. <laughs> 
Wait, wait. Six, five, seven, two. I'll edit this out in post. Am I kidding? I don't edit. Minus six, five, three, seven point five equals thirty four point five damage. The difference is literally thirty four point five. So, if we were comparing a hundred hits, you would just add a zero. And over the course of a hundred hits, the difference between the two combos would literally only be 340 damage. So unless you're a speedrunner, does it really matter? Now, let's compare the actual... <laughs> let us let me show you the actual um, best in slot meta, meta DPS build. What I figured out with this... This build here specifically, we are sitting at 60% affinity. It'll be 110% on weak points. So, we have less attack. The crits are going to be lower, but we have 100% affinity. So, if you run this calculation on something that has 100% affinity, it's a lot easier to calculate. So, 661. So, 10 hits at 661. Because we have no non crit. 661 times 10. Sixty-six. Sixty-six ten. So difference between that and the other two builds? Uh roughly eighty damage what eighty? Uh like eighty two 50-ish, over 10 hits. So, this build is stronger. It's the strongest. You could it's actually the strongest greatsword build you could make as of right now. I test. I actually went went ahead and tested every possible. Not every. I tested Rajing and um, Rajing and Gastarog. There's probably some other greatswords I could test, but um, it's hard not to recommend Rampage because you can transmog whatever you want. And here's the thing. Even if you were a speedrunner, the damage difference is so... <laughs> it's so... It's so small. It's so small that it almost doesn't really matter. You know? It almost doesn't really matter which one you use. So when people get upset over, oh, that's not meta. This is this is actually the meta meta build. This is what the math says. It's like, okay, let me do the math. And what these numbers are telling me is that there is practically no difference. <laughs> Even if you were a speedrunner. Now, I did calculate Narukuga. And Narukuga is um I think it was like something like 200 damage off. But even then, 200 damage over 10 hits. Like, is that, is that significant enough to get upset over? And the thing is, when doing these calculations, there are so many other variables to consider that um, it's hard to definitively say what is the best. This is just greatsword. This is just greatsword, by the way. If you did this with every other weapon, you would find similar results and... I feel like this is a sign of Capcom just being really good at balancing weapons. Obviously, not every weapon is balanced this way. But, um... I recommend Rampage weapons solely for the fact that, um... Honestly, you can transmog. You can uh, transmog them to whatever you look like, so... I'm using an umbrella here. <laughs> to look fancy. And if you were to use something else, you'd be perfectly fine, honestly. But the Rampage weapons are kind of set up to kind of be best in slot and have all this customization. Um, But this is the setup you would want to go if you're doing a Rampage weapon for, for sure. I tested out everything else. You can go ahead and do the testing if you want. It's really easy to test out. Let's get uh, two numbers. I'll just do the math with the affinity. And I tested out um the white sharpness, the all attack out every combination the elemental elemental is just really bad <laughs> so even on greatsword um 
even on the Gasserag Greatsword. I didn't test the Tuna Fish, though. Maybe we should test that, but chances are it's elemental. It's just always kind of been crap. Um, at least for Greatsword. But um, this is how I just calculated just what weapon was stronger. But the thing is, it doesn't factor in playstyle. It doesn't factor in the amount of sharpness. It should be noted with these Rampage weapons, because you're plugging in two Handicraft, you're technically missing out on two skills that could potentially ev either give you more attack or um, or something to mitigate your sharpness loss. So even in the case of like the Tigrex build, the Tigrex build, um, a lot of people tend to put uh, protective polish to mitigate uh, the sharpness loss on the Tigrex build on Tigrex builds. You can't fit in protected polish without sacrificing like a lot here. You, you can't. It's just it's just not feasible to fit in. You know. You definitely don't want to drop drop one of the attack. You know. You may want to maybe drop a handicraft. Maybe it might be possible to drop a handicraft um deco if you have a really good talisman. You roll with one with uh, one handicraft. You do protected polish. But the moment, the moment that you lose some um, your protective polish, that sharpness is going bye bye. Um, but yeah, this is how it's it's really easy to make these calculations with any weapon. Um, videos coming up, I'm going to cover ex using this method. I'm going to cover um, longsword, hammer, and uh, all those other weapons. Like as many, uh, basically all the weapons I enjoy using. So don't. Don't get excited for any ranged weapon builds. I'm not I haven't even touched range in Rise yet. But um I mostly want to compare Rampage to other weapons. It should be like the Rampage weapons, they all have the same attack, I'm pretty sure. They all have the same attack, whereas the Tyrix the Tyrix weapons are all over the place with their affinity and their um and their uh, rampage uh, bonuses and stuff like that. So, in the case of Longsword especially, like, the Rampage Longsword probably still, um, is not better than the, than the Tigrex Longsword. But you also have to remember that, like, this is only testing on weak points. Um, your sharpness is a huge variable, your play style, whether you're playing solo, whether you're playing with teammates, whether you're playing with or without, um, your Palicos or Palamutes. So... Take this with a grain of salt, but also note that at the end of the day, whether you're using T-Rex, Rampage, Narikuga, uh, Camellios, it really doesn't matter that much unless you are trying to get a world record for a speedrun. It doesn't matter. Capcom made it that way to where, like, if like if you're using like one of the top five weapons, your damage output will be so similar that like it's just not gonna matter. For 99.9% .9 of players. So my recommendation is just use Rampage and Transmog. <laughs> so uh, so you can um, use an umbrella and not have to worry too much about your DPS <laughs> or something. You know? So um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, leave a like, a comment. If you want to make fun of my math. Again, I'm not a mathematician. If you want to teach me about you know, true raw, effective raw, motion values, blah, blah, blah. You know? This is the way I calculated it. The math checks out, and it should it should be able to be extrapolated to any other scenario with any other weapon. Aside from elemental, eh, even with elemental, well, there's different combos that deal different damage. But um, you know, uh, come to my Twitch. I'm gonna be uh, working on more of this um, um, in the next few days with some builds, then doing some more comparisons. So hope you guys enjoyed this, and I will see you in the next video. Bye bye.